Here in the South, there aren't many people who don't like fried chicken. Well, today we're talking about the poultry industry with Corey Hill, who's a poultry farmer from Marshall County. Corey, thank you for having us out to your farm. Kevin, I appreciate y'all coming. Tell me about your operation. Uh, Kevin, I'm a second generation poultry farmer, third, uh, multi-generation, I guess, farmer. Uh, my son's finished up his college career at JSU. He's gonna come back and join the farm, be a third generation poultry farmer. Um, we, have a, we have a beef cattle operation here as well. We raise breeder pullets on this farm. Uh, people are most familiar with probably broilers. Broiler industry is very uh, big in Alabama as well. Broiler is the chicken that you eat at your home when you go to the grocery store and buy a chicken, that's a broiler. What we do with breeders is we take those chickens from a, from a primary breeder at one day old and we take them in our farm and they stay here about six months, about 21 weeks. And they are raised from a little yellow baby chicken like you see on, in magazines or on TV or whatever and we keep those to about till they get breeding age. They come and pick those up here and take them to a laying farm where they then are bred and lay eggs. Those eggs are taken to the hatcheries and they are hatched and then taken to the broiler farm where they are raised as broilers and that's what you eat. So in, in essence, I raise the, chi the mamas and daddies of the chickens that you eat. I got you. So those broiler chickens, how long does it take from the time that they get to the farm until they go off to the processing plant? Uh, that's kind of a tricky question. Some of them is about 30 days, depending on the, the company that they grow with. If you're taking a small hen that you want to fry up on Sunday, those are probably 30 days. But as you know, every restaurant in the nation now has a, a chicken sandwich on their menu. So those have to be filleted. So naturally you need a bigger chicken to cut that breast meat off of that chicken. So some, some farms keep theirs as, as long as nine weeks before they're left the farm. Okay, well, we've got some questions here from some of our viewers and Robin Rigdon and Keisha Holloway both wrote in to ask about hormones. Are chickens fed hormones? Uh, chickens have not been fed hormones in decades. Uh, I know you go to the grocery store and you see a lot of packaging that says hormone free, which makes you think, well, that one must have hormones in it if it doesn't say that which is not true. There's no, no hormones in chickens any longer. It hasn't been for decades. Okay, well another question here is from Becky Jones Gar, who wrote to us through our Facebook page. Do you let your chickens wander and eat off the land? We do not. A lot of people in Alabama do that, especially post pandemic, people try to be more self-sufficient during that time. You have a lot of your neighbors and friends that have backyard chickens and they produce eggs primarily, but some chickens for their consumption. But we have a 16,000 square foot building here that's climate controlled, uh, keeps the chicken in there safe from predators. You got, you got coyotes, raccoons, all kinds of things out here that would, they would, they would attack those animals. So um, the, in, in an August day in the summer, it's 110 degree heat index. It might be 75 or 80 degrees in the house cool and comfortable and the chickens get op optimum performance to grow the way they need to grow. All right, well that's very interesting. The poultry industry in general, how important is that to Alabama? Oh, the poultry industry is huge in Alabama and has been for years. Uh, Alabama is one of the top three poultry producing states in, uh, in the country. A Alabama, Arkansas, and Georgia is the top three. Uh, we raise probably a billion chickens a year in Alabama. It's probably got a $15 billion economic impact uh, from top to bottom in the state. So it's very, very much a vital part of Alabama's economic. All right, well, Corey Hill, Marshall County, we appreciate you having us out Thank to your farm coming. today. If you have a question for an Alabama farmer, send it to askafarmer at simplysoutherntv.net. Stacy Little of southernbite.com is up next. Whether you harvest squash out of your own garden or buy it from a local farmer's market, Stacy is sharing one of the best ways to prepare it with his old school squash and onions recipe. What sustains us? Food, family, faith. Alabama farmers live those things every day. They conserve our resources, clothe our families, and fill our tables. They cultivate jobs for our communities and values for our future. Farmers grow it all right here in Alabama. What one thing can you say about your local quality co-op store? You can trust us. 
you get what you need for your farm, for your lawn and garden, and the safest products for your pets. We're locally owned and operated, and you can trust that we care about our community and the people in it. So if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, the Quality Co-op Store has exactly what you need to get the job done. All this plus friendly, knowledgeable advice. Your Quality Co-op Store. There's one near you. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes onto the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer. If you're attending a technical school, college, or university in Alabama, you may qualify for a scholarship offered through the Alpha Foundation. And if you're a college student studying agriculture, forestry, or a related field at Auburn University or Alabama A&M University, you may qualify for a scholarship through the Alabama Farmers Agriculture Foundation. Scholarships are just another perk of being an Alabama Farmers Federation member. Find out more online at alphafarmers.org slash scholarships. For more Simply Southern, follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern continues in a moment. Sweet Grown Alabama is such an amazing brand. It'll be great for consumers to be able to connect immediately with an Alabama grown or made product. Sweet Grown Alabama, what it means to us is community. By buying Sweet Grown Alabama, you are able to support your community um, and kind of play your part and help the farmers. There's a, a huge advantage uh, just to your local community by buying local, whether it's local farms or local businesses. Find Sweet Grown Alabama farms, markets, restaurants, and stores near you at sweetgrownalabama.org. 